the Quran has addressed us as well as all mankind regarding the anger and wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The idea of that is for us to take heed. We must make sure we are not engaged in those type of deeds. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us regarding disbelief after you have been a Muslim. They were Muslim. They saw the guidance. They saw the Islam. They saw the Iman. And thereafter, they were on the right path. And after that, they left the right path. Now when we read this verse, it appears to us that it doesn't apply to me, isn't it? Wallahi, it applies to every one of us. The lesson is for everyone. Let's take a look at the deeper meaning of the verses. First, let's read the verse. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, How can Allah guide people who turned to disbelief after they were believers and after the truth and the signs came to them, they turned away? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah does not guide the oppressors. Those are oppressors. They are wrongdoers. Allah says, for them is a curse of Allah as well as the angels will curse them. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never do that to us. So to turn away from guidance after you've got it is a big crime. Though the word here that is used is when someone disbelieves after believing, but it also includes someone who leaves guidance after they've got it. May Allah protect us. And this is made mention of in the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa He explains it. It is called Al-Hawr Ba'd al kawr To turn back after you are rightly guided. May Allah protect us. There is a curse of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is one narration where Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam makes mention of a person should hate to go back to disbelief in the same way they would hate to be cast in hellfire. Some people think it's talking about Islam and kufr only. That is included in it, but it also includes the following. When a person has been granted the acceptance of Allah to be guided on a path and then they take steps backward spiritually, they are included in this curse. If Allah has guided you to read five salah a day, then suddenly you drop it to four, you are included in the curse. May Allah not do that to us. If Allah has guided a woman to put on a headscarf and suddenly one day she throws it out, she is included in this curse. So the movement to guidance needs to be forward, not backwards. That's what we learn. When you are getting guided, you must move forward and forward and forward. Don't ever go backwards because that will earn the anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah never do that to us. Why is that the case? It is the case because, say for example, a female whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has guided the ability to dress correctly. Then suddenly one day she discards that dress and she, she leaves it and you see her once again in, in dress that is unacceptable. The, what she is telling her creator is, you know what? You told me to do something. I found something better and more suitable for me than what you are saying. Allahu Akbar. May Allah protect us. After you've seen the goodness, you know what is right. You've come on the course. You've actually tasted the goodness of it. Suddenly you want to discard it. You think you're playing a game with your creator here? That creator is also the owner of anger and the owner of curse. He may become very angry and he may curse you to the degree that you will never see happiness again in your life. We hope that that is not the case. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us to dress appropriately, both male and female, to live our lives according to the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.